The coronavirus pandemic continues to be a battle for business owners. The latest 2020 report from the U.S. Small Businesses Administration shows there are about 30 million small businesses in this country and about one in three are now at risk of closing due to the pandemic. The outlook is even worse for minority owned businesses with eight in 10 saying their company is in poor financial condition. Let's get to WFMY News 2's Candace Red, who's live in Greensboro or Winston Salem, excuse me, this morning with how we can all help these struggling businesses. Good morning, Candace. Good morning to you. Well, as you mentioned, we have to face it. The coronavirus pandemic is tough for everyone, but especially black business owners. In fact, statistics show that um, at the start of 2020, there were just over 1 million small black owned businesses. But then once the coronavirus pandemic hit, black owned businesses have already decreased by 41%. So this morning, that's why I want to introduce you to Corey Paul. You're looking at a photo of him right now. Again, he's been working hard to stay afloat as an entrepreneur, and he's the founder and owner of Corey Paul's hair studio right here in Winston-Salem. He established the hair salon in 2009 with the goal to be the triad's leading salon and setting trends and offering great services to clients. Now, right now, you're looking at photos of some of the services available at the salon. Well, we know that at least nine licensed stylists work at the shop, specializing in cuts, coloring, blowouts, natural hair care, braiding, extensions, and chemicals such as relaxers and perms. But despite the pandemic, the salon is still catering to men and women of all hair types under tight safety and health measures. And since it is Black History Month, Corey Paul is sharing how hair for African Americans is a symbol of history and culture from afros, locks, twists, curls, and more. Take a listen. Even from Madam C.J. Walker making her product line and, you know, making her, her famous pressing cream and different things like that, we've always been about hair care and we've always been about our hair. Whether, like I said, you had afro braids, you had your hair pressed straight, We've always, always, hair has just been that staple in our community. Well, staying focused on the subject of Black History Month for centuries, Black people have been creating and wearing certain hairstyles to deliver powerful messages in social and political settings. The Afro, for example, emerged in the 1960s during the Civil Rights Movement. And right here in the Black community, historians say that the hairstyle continues to act as a symbol of rebellion, pride, and empowerment, end quote there. Well, again, to this day, the fight continues for natural hairstyles styles as well as protective hairstyles to be accepted not just in public and social settings but also in the workplace as well as in public schools but you know what Corey Paul is of course encouraging those if they are willing to accept their natural hair and other protective styles of choice taking a look at your screen because I want to give you some more information about the salon again if you're interested in exploring your natural hair or you're just someone who wants to simply support the salon during these difficult times here's all the information you need to know and just remember that due to the COVID-19 pandemic the salon is requiring the use of face mask temperature checks and social distancing but to learn more about the shop all you have to do is visit our website that's WFMYNews2.com. You can find this story in the Good Morning Show section along with other Black History Month reports.